Hello everyone, this is Mark Ling and today we are going to be talking about how to retire one million dollars richer or even more than that without lifting a finger. I have a super amazing special guest called Robert Rowley. Robert is a successful entrepreneur who grew up in a poor backwater village in a small country and as of today he has worked with the likes of Chad Holmes and Brian Tracy and numerous others just to name a few. But on the way to achieving his dream he actually lost most of his money because he trusted uh, financial advisors, financial gurus and a lot of knowledge that um, that you may see as common sense, but really isn't um, isn't really the the right thing to be doing if you want to retire wealthy. Um, so that inspired Robert to invest seven years of his life to research what's really going on behind the scenes in the financial industry. And today, Robert's mission is to help you to get what he calls um, to to get get out of sorry what he calls the rigged game of investing, so that um, you can avoid the costly mistakes that he makes and what most people make. Because whether you believe that you are an investor or not, everybody is. Whether your money is just sitting there in your bank account, you are investing. You're investing in your bank account. Okay, So I, I really want people to get this point. You do not have to have lots of money in order to retire wealthy um, from what you learn here. And you're going, your mind is going to be blown, okay? You're going to discover exactly how to make your money work for you, how to not get robbed by the financial industry in the process, how the financial industry does make sure that you lose your invested money, and how to not let them do that to you, okay? Um, so without further ado, I would like to welcome along Robert. Hi, and thank you, Mark, for having me on this call. I believe that I can share some great ideas today for everybody who wants to achieve financial security or even financial freedom. So it's an honor to be here. Now, you say that you help people get out of the rigged game of investing. Why do you think investing is rigged? And what exactly do you do to help people get out of it? Well, if you want to build wealth, if you want to increase your financial security or if you even want to create some passive income streams, you need to start investing a part of the money you make. True financial freedom only comes when you, when you have some money working for you. If you always just work for money, you will never be able to build assets and you will always stay in the red race, always working for money. So most people do invest. But the sad fact is that the people in the financial industry who should, be, who should be there to help us, they are basically stealing our investing money. You know, the bankers, brokers, financial advisors, and all the forex gurus you see online are basically rewarded to sell the worst possible investing products to me and to you. So that is why investors lose the lion's share of their possible future returns when they are investing. In other words, if you are playing the game of investing by the financial industry rules, you will get poor and they will get rich. It's that simple. So what do I do? Uh, I help my clients avoid that fate. Simply stated, when my clients follow the simple approach that I developed over the last seven years, their money finally starts to work for them and not for the financial industry. And all it takes is just a couple of hours per year. Okay, so, so not per day, not per week, but per year. Okay, so just a couple of hours per year is what it takes in order to um, not become poor by following financial industry rules. I mean, I've always thought that it's crazy how, you know, you leave money in the bank and the amount of interest that you receive is next to nothing, yet the rate of inflation means that your money is actually winds up being worth less um, than it was before. It's it's crazy how when you look at the price of housing um, worldwide, not just in America, but worldwide, um, it goes up higher, faster than the price than, the, than what your wages go up by over the year. So you are losing money without even noticing it. It's, you're, you're getting robbed without even seeing it because 
you know, your, your eyes aren't open to how money really works. So how did you learn how to do all of this stuff? I mean, I understand you lost most of your money at one point. One would think that financial advisors are the best people we should look to for guidance. Why not? Yeah, uh, it will probably surprise you that 10 years ago, I didn't have a clue about investing. I had no clue about money management and I almost hated personal finance and investing. You know, I didn't want to, to have anything with that. Uh, if you if you gave me Excel spreadsheet, I would say, oh no, that's, that's terrible, <laughs> just go away. Um, so I, I hated these topics, you know. Um, so now you're probably wondering, how did I end up teaching people about them? Uh, well, it's an interesting story. I was born in a backwater village in a small country with a population of only 2 million. Uh, the, the country is called Slovenia. It's in Central Europe. And my parents were poor as a church mouse and I had no special talents. I was just average, you know, uh, in, in school. Um, I only learned to speak English when I was a teenager. That is why I still have this funny accent. Uh, so <laughs> if you were a neutral observer, you know, you would say that I will never amount to anything. But you know, something changed that fate. And that was that I was curious. I, I used to read books, you know. I went to a nearby town uh, to borrow uh, books from the library there. And my favorite author then was Brian Tracy. So I read his books, you know, he's a legend, you know, legendary author. Uh, I read his books and I was dreaming about, you know, success in life and setting uh, amazing goals and stuff like this, you know. Um, so in my student years, when, uh, when I was living in a student dorm, the opportunity presented itself and I started my own, own, own company, you know. Um, it, was, it was basically started from zero. I didn't have anything. Uh, well, the only things I had, you know, were the, the, the landline, the phone, and an old computer. So that was everything that I had. But I started my business, and in five years, it grew, and uh, I became uh, more successful. And after five years, in 2005, I was able to organize my first seminar with the legend itself, with Brian Tracy as a speaker. <laughs> so the person whose books I read as a teenager was a speaker at the event that I organized at the time. And it was a major achievement for me. This was like dreams coming true. And uh, this was also a year uh, when I made my first six-figure income. Uh, so, you know, you can imagine uh, a poor boy from a back, uh, backwater village uh, earning six-figure income. It was like, you know, heaven for me. So this was a good, good times uh, of my life. Uh, but, you know, uh, at that time, I also started to ask myself, you know, where to put all that money. And um, because I didn't have a clue about investing, I trusted. Who do you think, Mark? Um, financial advisors? Yeah, you are right. <laughs> so I trusted financial advisors. And uh, guess what, you know, year after year, I just gave them my money. And I thought that they are taking good care of, of my money. But unfortunately, a um, couple of years later, me and my wife were having a money talk <laughs> and we decided to check uh, all the accounts, you know, what's happening with our money. So I called all these advisors and all these brokers and I said, okay, please uh, send, me, uh, send me the account statements. And all those envelopes came to the post, you know, and I opened the first one and I go, what? Is there a zero missing? I open the second one. I go, hmm, is this a mistake? The third one, <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it, you know. My money, I worked hard to, to earn, was basically gone. I lost most of my money because I trusted these financial advisors. So I was totally devastated. Um, you know, I've, I've had this happen to me myself as well, uh, trusting um some financial advisors with money where I even said that I don't want them spending the money for me. I wanted to invest it myself. And then I ended up uh, losing a several thousand dollar investment, um, went down to nothing because they invested it for me. That's, you know, I know some people, um, some people opt to, um, opt to go for low risk investments. Um, uh, but then I guess they're still losing money. It's just, very, very, very slowly as a, 
you know, and you can look at it and say, hey, it's it's gone up by 5% or 10%, but then inflation and other things and purchasing power of money has gone backwards during that time, so you really haven't gained anything and probably lost money. Um, did um, you get given some sort of toll-free number to call and talk to someone to fix things? Like, how did you even begin to address your problem? <laughs> yeah, it would be good to have some kind of <laughs> toll-free number. Uh, but, you know, I uh, my response was to blame the financial advisors and the brokers at first. And after some time, I started to blame myself because I trusted them. But in the end, I could say I was really lucky uh, because I found out what is going on with my money while I was still young. Most people save for their pensions or try to grow their wealth and then they found out they find out that this money is gone only after it's too late. You know, I, I have a lot of clients who have been investing for 20 years and after 20 years, they realize that uh, basically they are, they are getting uh, poorer and poorer and poorer each year because they, they trusted you know, their advisor and so on. So it seems that after they lost most of your money, you began this new journey. And well, I think by now people are probably wondering, you know, well, what, what breakthrough discoveries did you have? Like, could you tell us a bit more about how you got started and when you finally made those breakthrough discoveries that helped you to you know, become like hugely financially successful today and, and, and get involved with Brian Tracy and, and, and other um, well-known people in the industry. Yeah, uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the major point of the story. So after, uh, after, after uh, that period of my life where I lost a lot of money, I was lucky that I organized another seminar with Brian, with Brian Tracy. And after the seminar, I invited him to dinner. And uh, I told him all about my money problems. And right there, Brian said something that totally changed my life. And maybe also, you know, for all, all the people who are listening to this interview, maybe it will change their lives too. Robert, it doesn't matter how much you earn. All that matters is if you have the skills to manage and to invest your money. And at that time, I realized, I don't have these skills. I blindly trust the financial industry. And then I made perhaps the most important decision of my life, financial decision or maybe even you know, global decision of my life. I said to myself, no matter how much time and money it will take, I will become one of the most financially literate people in this world. So in the next years, I invested heavily in my financial education. I went to all the best seminars. I read all the best books. I, you know, I, I heavily invested in, in my financial literacy. And at that time, I realized that basically the financial industry rigged the investing game so cunningly that even experienced investors lose money without even knowing it. So that is why I now teach people how to get out of that rigged game of investing and to take responsibility for their own money and investments. It's easy and it only takes a couple of hours per year. We only think it's hard because the financial industry brainwashed us to think that way. Well, I guess with most professional services, they, they need to build their clientele based on the assumption that we can do something that you don't know how to do or that you don't have the time to do. But in your case, clearly that didn't work. They did a worse job of managing your money than what you are able to do right now, the way you have educated yourself. So you teach people how to take control in this area. And as you pointed out, it's an international problem. It's not just Europe. It's not just people in the United States. It's people everywhere. Yeah. And you've, you've helped people in the United States. You've helped people in Canada and all over the world. Um, anyone who has money and cares about protecting their assets um, can wake up one day like that. They'll open their accounts and make the same discovery you have. All of a sudden, they'll say, I don't have any money or... I've got money, but my money's worth less than it was, you know, a year ago or five years ago. 
And that's that's heartbreaking. So what what is one thing someone could do right now to take the first step towards getting control of their finances without relying upon the gurus or the financial advisors or experts and what they tell them to do? Yeah, that's a very good question. The first step should be to make sure that you don't do anything stupid with the money you make. Okay, this is the first step. Like Warren Buffett said, the first rule of investing is don't lose money. Don't lose money. So, stop listening to all the financial gurus, all the financial advisors and brokers out there. And don't, don't fall for the ads promising you quick millions, okay? Because there are no quick millions there <laughs> in the investing world. When you see a product that is heavily advertised, uh, there is a good chance that it's a very bad product for investors, for all of us. So just stay away from it, okay? So stay away from heavily advertised financial products. Two examples, binary options and forex trading. Start to use them and you will lose your money, guaranteed. Oh, absolutely binary. I mean, I, I haven't tried Forex, but absolutely binary options, stay away from it. If ever I yeah. see anyone promoting binary options at all, I know they're a scammer. Like, I have been scammed from binary options myself. Um, I, I trusted somebody who recommended them to me. I didn't realize he was getting a $400 commission from me investing $50 in binary options to get started. And then I ended up um, that, having a broker who sounded like he was legitimate and ended up spending a, another, putting another $7,000 in. He was trying to get me to put another $100,000 in. Um, all I wanted to do was withdraw my money. I just wanted to see that I could get my money out and they would not let me take my money out. Um, I, I did everything I could to get my money out and then eventually they ended up saying, sorry, your money's gone. It's down to zero. I'm like, how could that happen? Um, and they gave me every excuse under the sun. And now I get a phone call every single week for the last three years on my phone from a different binary options or Forex options trading company because my name is, and phone number has gotten on a list of people that will spend money on, on that kind of thing. Because, yeah, absolutely. Sorry I could go overboard on this. I just am passionate about warning people off from binary options and forex trading because that's happened to me yeah. and i know you you can uh, it's just ridiculous um, anyone that gets into that um there's an scamming. there's an amazing number of scam artists uh, scam artists oh out there you know in the investing companies. world so it's it's crazy uh, is there anything you could suggest that people could do right now to see some immediate improvement on their ability to control their finances and, and like we said earlier, to become extremely wealthy? Yeah, um, so the first step is don't lose money. Don't do stupid things with your money. And the second step is uh, start investing a small part of the money you make the smart way, okay? This means in the long-term investing products, like for example, uh, index funds that have the lowest possible fees. If you don't know what index funds are, uh, it's, it's a long story, so I will not go, go over it today. But this is a very low cost investing vehicle uh, that gives you very, very good returns in the future. Okay, so this is how you start to grow your assets really fast. Okay, so this would be the, the second step. Okay. So that makes sense, but I would imagine that it took you seven years to learn these simple steps. You've got a great deal more knowledge, um, but you've, you've made it really simple so that people can learn this stuff in the matter of a day if they want to, or less, um, because you've got, a, you've got a fantastic book out that makes it really simple. Could you explain to people how would reading your book, The Million Dollar Decision, and we're about to release um, a bit of a special on this at the end of this call for those of you that happen to uh, get in um, on on a certain date that we've got um, in the calendar. If, you, if not, then you can still get this book anyway, even if this date has passed by the time you're listening to this. But how would reading your book, The Million Dollar Decision, greatly improve my chances for success as opposed to trying to figure this out on my own? I mean, most of my listeners do not have seven figures to figure all this stuff out. How can they benefit from your book, The Million Dollar Decision? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, the basic promise of the book is very simple. 
Read this book and you will increase your net worth by 1 million in the long run. So just by making some small and easy changes in the way you invest your money, you can save more than 1 million. And this is not um, some kind of professional investor stuff. This is this is an ordinary people stuff, you know. This is for ordinary people who make um, an average or a little slightly above average income. Um, it's it's amazing how much money the financial industry takes through commissions and fees. And if you don't know these details, um, you are toast. So you've made a bold promise that people can finish up with you know, over a million dollars in the account by the time they retire. I mean, is there any age that you're assuming that they are at before they start this stuff? Like, I mean, does this work for somebody that's 52 years old? You know, they might be saying, or I'm in a different part of the world, or let's say they live in Europe or Asia or South America or the US, obviously. Uh, obviously, it works well for the people in the US, Canada. Does this system really apply to different types of situations? Or is it for just a particular type of investor? How would you answer that? Yeah, my clients come from all over the world, uh, from Europe, from the uh, United States, from uh, Canada, from, uh, I, I also have some uh, Australian clients and so on. So um, whenever you are in the world, uh, it, it will work for you because the investing logic and the products are the same everywhere. Okay, so the main, the main logic is the same everywhere. Um, and my clients are not professional investors. My clients are, uh, you know, just an or ordinary people who already invest some money, uh, and people who know that they will need, they will need to start investing uh, sooner or later for their retirement, for you know, if, if they want to grow their wealth uh, and so on. And most of my clients think about investing as a necessary evil, you know, <laughs> just like I did. Uh, that is why my solutions are simple and you only need an hour or two per year to implement them. Uh, I believe that life is short and you don't want to spend it staring at the boring stock charts <laughs> for hours every day, you know. Uh, this is not the point of life. Uh, so my investing system is for people who don't want to spend a lot of time for investing and they want to get the best possible investing returns. And regarding the age, you know, uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you asked me, uh, if you are 65 years old now, maybe it's a little too late <laughs> for my system because uh, you, you, may, you are approaching retirement already and so on. Uh, but um, if uh, the sooner you start investing, the better. Well, uh, someone who's 65, uh, what, someone who's 65, is it too late? I mean, quite often they receive a pension or they will have, they still have money coming in. So they still need oh, to do true. the right that's things true. with that. You could still be wealthy by the time you're 75 or 80, right? I mean, it still matters yeah, that you... Because people are living longer and longer these days. People, yeah. like one of, one of my uh, friends in the, in the office here, he, his, um, his grandmother only passed away recently at 103 years old. I mean, 103. Wow. Like you, you, you may not, you know, some people think 65, I start spending all my money, and you know, but then they get to 75 and they realize, wait a minute, I'm still very healthy. I might live another 20 more years. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah you, you just brought up my market. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Yeah. Well, no, I just, because I, I know that a lot of people listening are all sorts of age groups. There'll be 18 year olds here and there will be 65 year olds here. And what I like about recommending you and your book is that it's not expensive for people to gain this knowledge. It's not like you're saying, hey, buy my system, it's $2,000, you know. We're talking about something that's the price of a ticket to the movies, you know. It's it's pretty cheap. It's, um, you know, it's like a quarter of a gallon of gas. It's not expensive you, we're talking about here. It's... Um, it's it's less than an hour's wages for for most people. It's it's quite inexpensive, but yet it's the potential returns are phenomenal. You know, if you gain this yeah. knowledge, where other people are paying you thousands of dollars for your business to work with them one on one, and yet they're able to just buy your book. It's written in a really easy and simple an easy to read fashion that they could read the whole book in a single sitting and gain so much knowledge that you've gained throughout your whole life. I think that's, you know, that's why I'm happy to recommend it. I'm not saying if a 65 year old needs to be spending thousands of dollars, I mean, to spend, um, you know, the price of a ticket to the movies on 
protecting their financial future. I think it's it's money well spent. And by the way, the website address to visit if you do decide to gain this book is milliondbook.com. Okay, that's www.million, that's M-I-L-L-I-O-N, then the letter D for dollar, so D, and then book, B-O-O-K, dot com, www.milliondbook.com, and that book is called The Million Dollar Decision uh, by Robert Rowley, and I highly recommend, um, guys, that you you get that book and you, you discover exactly what you need to do. Do you have um, any more tips and tricks that you could teach people uh, for what to do. Like, let's say somebody has a $1,000 sitting in the bank right now, um, and they, they, they're someone that puts in, let's say, uh, $50 a week into their bank account and savings, uh, and that's all they do, for, it's their whole savings plan. What would you say to them? Yeah, they, 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 they need to start um, investing smart. So. If you are putting, let's say, fifty dollars uh, per per month or per week um, into your savings, uh, and if they are if if they are just sitting there on your bank account, uh, the inflation is eating up that money. So you need to start putting that money into an investing vehicle, uh, like I, uh, for example, index fund, uh, that will grow your money. Uh, and uh, it will, uh, let's say, overtake the inflation, so it will build your wealth. Because uh, if you have your money sitting in the bank, uh, you are just losing uh, the purchasing power every year. Okay, so this is very important. So choosing the right investing vehicle that will grow your wealth and not um, not, not not make it, you know, and not 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 to make you poor. Well, yeah, because like in in New Zealand. The rate of inflation is between 0 and 2% each year, so it's quite low, right? Um, so people look and they say, they might look at their bank account and say, well, I've saved up a certain amount of money over the years, um, and they won't necessarily notice that, they'll think that that means that um, because inflation hasn't been, sound, doesn't sound like it's too high, that the purchasing power hasn't eroded that much. But I don't think inflation's entirely accurate as a measure because it actually takes you to, to buy the same amount of groceries as you used to and to, um, buy, uh, and to buy the same amount in housing as you used to. I think it's 20 years ago. Um, people have to now work 66 hours where they used to have to work 40 hours. Um, so it's yeah. impossible. Uh, and that's just in New Zealand. I know that there are similar numbers in the United States, similar numbers in Canada and, and South America and all over the world. Okay, so you can't just blindly look at inflation because that's just taking into account um, a consumer price index and certain things that it, it, it's not entirely the only accurate measure. Your money is dropping in value when it's left in the bank account alone, unfortunately. Um, and there are other other measures and ways of protecting your your wealth that you know we don't obviously have time to cover everything on this particular call, but that's you know one one reasonable tip. So, do you teach diversification? Is that part of your philosophy in your book? And and you teach people where to diversify and why? Yeah, it's very important. Uh, so very important. The, the first I, I teach people that the first step should be taking care of their financial security. Uh, so the first step is not uh, getting good returns, but first step is just to take care of your financial security. So here uh, you need to have some um, insurance products like life insurance and so on. Uh, if you have a family, of course, if you are single and uh, you don't have anybody uh, who, depended, uh, who depends on you, then you don't need that. But if you have a family, if you plan to have a family, you need to have some kind of life insurance. and then. I also teach uh, how to um, how to make sure that uh, you you are uh, you, you get you gain additional security through uh, precious metals. So uh, you don't need a lot a lot of precious metals, but just a little, you know, to uh, to take like care of and additional silver. financial security. Sorry. Precious metals like gold and silver. Sorry, yeah, like like gold and silver. Yeah, like gold and silver. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, then after you take care of your financial security, then you go and you try to make your money work for you uh, to get you great investing returns. 
So the first step is security and the second step is uh, profits. Okay, and um, and you teach people how to grow, you know, because the, they probably get wondering, you know, okay, that's fine. I get told to protect my security and then grow my wealth. You teach them how to grow their wealth and different financial vehicles that are likely to produce bigger returns. It's all covered in your million dollar decision book, right? Yeah, that's right. So they get uh, a complete master plan, uh, how to invest the smart way, uh, what to do and what not to do. Because sometimes uh, if you just take care of the things that you don't want to do, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a great um, benefit, you know, it's a great advantage in your life. Uh, and uh, uh, when they read my book, they have a clear plan what to do uh, with their money and how to grow it uh, in a smart way. Uh, where they can beat most professionals, uh, you know, just invest in a couple of hours per, per, I, per year. I, I think that what some people really want is a, just a clear answer on how to make the right choices, you know. Yeah, that's and, it. And that's, that's what this is, and that's why I wanted to get you on this call so that you could, uh, so you could teach on this call, give people an insight into what's going on, and also because I, I think that your book is um, – it's fantastic. It's really going to be truly helpful for a lot of people, and um, and um, and you're also um, this is. I know that not everyone's going to listen to this interview prior to this date, but if you happen to be listening prior to the fifteenth of March two thousand and seventeen, fifteenth of March two thousand and seventeen, then there are special bonus packages um, available for anyone that buys your book on that date, 15th of March 2017. If you buy it um, through the link at milliondbook.com, then there are some incredible bonuses because obviously you want to get as many sales as you can on the first day of your, your book launch. That's, um, you know, which makes yeah. sense as far as um, a book launch is concerned. So um, if people visit that page there, if you happen to be there before that date, great. If not, if you happen to be listening to this interview, may, some people might be listening to this a year from now, for all I know. And if you are, you can still get the book. You just, the, the bonuses package will have expired by then, but that's okay. Um, the book is the main thing that you get that. You visit that domain name um, if, you'd like to, um, if you'd like to get yourself a copy. Yeah. Okay, so have you got any any last words that you would like to wrap up with? Um, any like, final pieces of advice? Yeah, uh, so my final, maybe my, my main message would be that investing is simple. It's just the financial industry that tries hard to make it complex. So um, when, when you think it's complex, you give your money to the financial industry. You give your money to the financial advisor. And when you lose control of your money, you are basically losing your money because they will make sure that their, the, the profits, they end up in their pockets and not in your pockets. So investing is simple. simple. You just need to know the details, uh, the right details. And all the details are in the book, the Million Dollar Decision Book. Okay, so fantastic. go ahead. Yeah, well, go ahead. Buy the book. Um, it will be the best financial decision you will ever make. All right. Thanks, Robert. I really appreciate your time. Um, I think that you've shared a lot of great value on this particular interview. And also, um, for anyone that uh, wants to know more, you want to learn about the six dark forces of investing, the commission camouflage effect, how to outperform the vast majority of pro professional investors while taking less risk. If you want to learn Robert's financial success formula um, and, and more and how to make it, how to make the million dollar decision, getting out of the rigged game of investing and, and add a million dollars to your net worth um, through just a couple of hours per year of, of smarts, really, um, then make sure you get a copy of this book. It's, it's less than the price of, of taking, um, taking a person uh, to the movies, like you and a friend to the movies. It's less than the, the price of that, and yet it could potentially pay itself back um, many, many times over. So um, the address for that is milliondbook.com. Million, then the letter D, then the word book.com. And I uh, just want to say another big thank you, Robert, for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mark, for inviting me. It was really a pleasure.
All right, take action with what you learn, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.